Hi Sagittarius. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book me for a personal, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need is going to be listed down in the comment section below. Please take advantage of that. And I hope you guys' weekends went well, okay? I feel like a few of you need to cut off somebody who is sneaky and a liar and a cheater. However, I feel like this person is coming back out of the Woolworth to offer you some new passion. This person wants to new start with you at the period of you guys not speaking. Oh, boy. Yep. I feel like there's some sadness, though. I feel like this person is sad, not you. I really do. Yep. This person is sad about what the fuck they did or where they at right now. I feel like they have a lot of love for you that they didn't tell you. And maybe now you have somebody else. And this person is sitting here like, I can't help but wait. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Because they feel like it's over and they're heartbroken. I can't help but wait. Mm hmm. Because now look at them. They want to offer you something, but they're heartbroken. They're like, damn, can I still get it? Can I still have them? Is it over? Yeah, they want to manifest something with you, but I feel like this person is too fucking arrogant to actually say it. Unfortunately. And you know why? It's because they know what they did in the past was fucked up. <clears throat> they left you wounded. You were the wounded warrior. So you went into another relationship with your wounds wide open. Somebody licked them shits for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> or they will be. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this person, whoever this was, it could have been a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, was very toxic. Very toxic. Yeah, I feel like this person kept you stuck for a while. They played a lot of mind games. They did a lot of manipulating you. They were very emotionally manipulative. This person did whatever. They knew that you liked them, so they played games with your head. Wow. Yep, and I feel like you blocked this motherfucker. You said, you know what? Play games with your mama. And guess what? That's when they realized that they really loved you. And I also feel like this person met somebody else that they liked too. Within the time frame that y'all weren't talking, yeah, look at this. Four wands. This is a relationship. They're in a whole nother relationship, but they don't fucking like it. They don't fucking like it. These two motherfuckers is out in the cold together looking raggedy. Okay? They only got five pinnacles. There's ten before the ace. They got five. Okay? You probably is the ten of pinnacles. Okay? So now this person's at a cross rule. Because look, they got this one little pinnacle that they could take back to your house and work, invest. And they got their hand on it. So they like, damn. Should I go? Should I not? Because this other person's back here. But they not they not good enough. Sorry to say, but that's how they looking at them. All right, so let's see what this person has to say. What does this person have to say to you guys? How is this person feeling? Spirit, please give me some energy for how Sagittarius person is feeling about them. What do they want to say to them? Too many spirit. I'm going to see what they are, though. Okay. It was flirt and let go of control issues. I'm not going to take them. If they're supposed to come back out, they'll come back out in a minute. Oops, okay. Spirit said that's enough. Soulmate, free yourself. Let go of control issues. It came back out. Chemistry at the bottom of the deck. All right, so I know. I know. I already felt this. Very soulmate energy. You guys are Hancock and whatever the Hancock's bitch was. <laughs> Y'all are them people, okay? It's like y'all fight, y'all argue, y'all rip each other apart, but it's only because y'all love each other so fucking much. And I feel like it is time for you to let go of this energy and let go of controlling this person because I feel like you've been knowing that you've been controlling this person or this person has been controlling you. And maybe they feel like they have to let them let you go because they don't feel like you feel the same about them anymore. 
okay? Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this person is feeling like they need to let you go. But they don't want to. They see you being single and they like, fuck. I gotta hurry up and go back. I'm fucking up. They seeing you looking good. They like, I'm fucking up. I don't know if y'all told them something. If they watching you. Yeah. They like, I'm fucking up. Five of Swords judgment. Let me haul ass back this way. Because hell to no. <laughs> Not this one. You probably one of the best bitches they got. Yeah, they love you. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. They feel this for you. Soulmate with Two of Cups. You the one. You the one and they know it. Yeah, look, Six of Cups, another soulmate energy. but And it's keeping them stuck. Eight of Swords, they, they don't want to go nowhere. They can't. They don't know how. Nothing is good enough. Nothing is better enough. Nothing is better than. And they know that. Okay? And they may have other people very well. But that shit don't make them happy, though. You make them happy. It's like temporary fulfillment for a two of cups with these other people. Yeah. Some type of stability that other people are offering them. However, they come and they still reaching out to you. They ain't your motherfucking phone. They ain't your wallet. Nah. Because some of y'all, they could be in your wallet. But they, they on your ass. Why did I say wallet? Oh, that's not significant to y'all. I hope good and damn well y'all ain't giving this person a penny because they got other people. They might be in somebody else's wallet. But I feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you because they can't not reach out to you. They can't help it. You guys are always supposed to be reaching out to each other. You love each other, right? Even if y'all are not together, I feel like there's always going to be some form of communication between you two. Because, again, you guys can't see each other. Like Hancock and his lady, they tore each other apart when they seen each other. However, you guys still wonder, right? So, let's see. What is the outcome? Spirit, please tell me the outcome. What is the outcome for my sad you at G's? I see you blocking somebody. Too many secrets, too many unknown things, too much shit that you just don't care to say anymore. All right? The emotions ran deep, but I feel like they fell short. And with the Ten of Cups, I mean, with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like this person has just kept throwing shit at you. Kept making you feel like you weren't good enough. Ten is two fives. To me, that's, you play my games to me one too many times, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm done. I'm done.